<laughs> so listen, we were talking, you know, before we, we uh, started the segment about yeah. the great response the show is getting on my block, mm -hmm. on Netflix, an, a, another one of these shows that's really showcasing our community, our, our world. Yeah. We had Julio Macias here uh, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. and um, he gets a lot of fans when he gets out there. Are you being recognized on the street? Are you starting to experience that? Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, pretty bad. Well, I don't want to say bad because the, you know, the problems I'm blessed to have. They're good problems. problems. They're good problems. I can't complain. But yeah, I can't go anywhere without being without being recognized. I have to wear a baseball cap. And what? Really? Already? Everywhere I go in Corona. In LA, for LA, sure. LA, oh, Corona, I can everywhere. imagine. Everywhere. So wow. yeah, so my wardrobe is pretty much black shirt, a baseball cap, and a hoodie. <laughs> uh, fans, please jot down this, uh, you know, wardrobe. <laughs> Jones, you know, if you see a guy like that, it's probably Diego. Wow. So no, you moved to LA, and then right after, I think I read seven months after, right? You you booked the show. Yeah, pretty so, much. So, wow. well, I mean, the move was from where? And did you think mm. it was going to be this quick that you were going to be dealing with all this? No. You know, undercover <laughs> issues of cows and black because oh my yeah. God, I'm getting recognized everywhere. Yeah, not at all. I uh, well. I was auditioning prior to, to moving to Los Angeles. Okay. I was 16 years old, driving myself to, to acting class mm -hmm. every day, wow. doing class, auditions, missing out on school a whole ton. My grades were going down, Ooh. but luckily I, I balanced it out. Mm -hmm. uh, immediately after I graduated, I was like, I can't do the drives anymore. I right. can't be in traffic for two hours oh. for a 15 minute audition. <laughs> Just to be told no, you know, I, it's worth it. But um, I was like, I can do, I can do more with that time. Where were you living? In Corona oh, at Corona. the time. So I moved out here immediately. Started working Postmates. Started working at a at a restaurant. There you go. Twenty four seven grinding, going to class every single day. That's how we do and it. And then seven months later. I got wow. this wrong. Wow. So it wasn't just yeah. like just. It wasn't pure just luck. like. You put a hard <laughs> seven months into it, bro. Yeah. 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 Well, all that, that work is, seven months. All that work's paid off because you have a show now that people yeah, are man. really identifying and connecting yeah. with, not only on TV but on social media. Mm. They're hitting you up. They're hitting Julio. It's like this huge yeah. phenomenon. Yeah, absolutely. Of people who are like, yeah, this is real. This is these are my people. I'm really happy, man, that the kids, that the fans, and not even the kids, like, because I have older older guys coming up to me and they're going like, hey, man, like, I wish I had that show. When wow. I was younger, like this, oh, wow. this show, I'm, it's really relatable. Wow! So I think it's it's really cool of Netflix and of the writers to write this show because it's a it's a new kind of story that's not being told as much as it should be. I Do think. Do you definitely. feel connected to your character in some special way? Yeah, absolutely. Tell us like about your what? character. Absolutely about my character or yeah. how I feel connected. Well, both. Yeah. Uh, well, honestly, so I moved to LA seven months later. Things they weren't going. For me and my girlfriend and myself, we, you know, your girlfriend, you're not single. Ex-girlfriend, ah, we, we good. split ways, <laughs> and my best friend was leaving me, and you know, he was moving back home, so I was, you know, just going downhill, and I was like, what, like, what's going on, like, why is everything going so bad? Mm -hmm. I was like, is this even worth it? Is the journey even worth it? But I was like, nah, like, it's worth it. Like, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna okay. keep pushing. I kept pushing, and got the call like two weeks later after all that drama wow. happened. Wow, two my weeks changed. later. Yeah, literally, it was insane. It was insane. And then everything and then, turns around. Also, what, what, and then yeah. I started shooting. We started shooting. We started doing table reads. We started rehearsing. Gosh. My life just got real busy. So okay. Let, okay. Let's rewind a little bit. You okay. mentioned ex-girlfriend. What's happened between the ex-girlfriend and now? Is there somebody occupying your teeny tiny heart? Are you dating somebody? <laughs> what, what's uh, the deal? No, no, no. Right now I'm trying to... I'm trying to stay away from dating. Okay, just focus good. on the craft. And you know, because when your female co-star was here, you know, she kind of shied away from the whole, oh, the question, you know, the, the scenes with Diego, <laughs> and then I've seen you online with Isabella Gomez from one day at a time. And, you know, I was like, well, are they dating? Or what's oh, the deal? No, are they no, just friends? No, no, no. Everyone, <laughs> everyone in the industry, in the entertainment industry, is really, we're all real, like, it's cool, because you, you can't really have... You know, you don't. You got to be careful who your real friends are gotcha. outside of the entertainment industry. So you know when somebody else is working, you're like, well, you know, they're on the same page as me. Like, right. let's just hang out and like sure. vibe out. You yeah, know? and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, vibe out. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I'm not. I'm not going for no relationships. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna stay single. For she'll as, find you. As you long keep as on doing the show. Right. She'll yeah. find yeah. you. The right girl will it's find true. you. Yeah. Ta now, tell. Describe your character though, because you know some of our, our viewers might not have seen it. Caesar. Okay. okay. Yeah, Caesar. I would say he's a fresh-faced kid, vulnerable. He's sweet. He's got a good heart but he was born into some rough circumstances uh -oh. and you know just because you're born to the wrong circumstances don't mean you got to stay in that and and luckily Caesar has his friends to show him that and try to pull him out of the gang life uh, throughout the series you see the struggle and the struggle well it's real it's real <laughs> yeah it's real. Very real yeah so you kind of struggled as well right in 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 school with getting along with other kids and yeah. stuff did you experience any kind of bullying or any kind of like 
you know, non-fitting situations and mm. then that you had to Weird overcome? Enough, yeah, absolutely. Uh, growing up, I was diagnosed with uh, vitiligo. Okay. It's that skin condition that Michael Jackson had right. with the patchy skin. Right. So I always had to wear long sleeve t-shirts and kids always used to bug me about that. And PE time, when we had to, you know, change for PE, they would see my skin and I would get teased like crazy. So. I, I kind of like stayed away from kids my age, Aww. so I, I found like an escape at a skate park, and I just grew up over there, just skateboarding with my friends with the older crowd, and cool. they didn't really, you know, that that stuff didn't matter. To yeah, because they're, they're beyond exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm not, you know, I don't hold grudges against kids my age because we're all young. So we're all you don't want to beat them yeah. up. Exactly. No, I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I guess because I don't see anything. Do as yeah. A, uh, I mean, it's it's light, but it, it definitely went away. It used to be right. really bad when I was little. Okay. So I was real self conscious about that. I didn't wear a, I didn't wear a short sleeve t shirt until like twelfth grade, man. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then twelfth grade came, and I was like hitting the gym, and I was pretty big, and I was like, oh, you know yeah. what? Like, I'm yeah. trying to it's tell me anything. It's different. It's, it's, different. it's, it's, different. Out. it's yeah. a different story now. Yeah. What's going on with the body? You know, I see you're, you got a little pump there. You want to go? No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I just like I go to the gym every once in a while, I just like get my mind off things. So does Dennis, but Dennis only goes to check guys out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 